What's up, Saiyan Army? So what you're seeing on your screen now is a leg workout, working my way back up on front squats, relearning them, working on farm, and just doing them beltless this time around. Also, I want to apologize for the infrequent amount of videos. This past week, I had to go back to Hawaii for some business to handle with the Saiyan Aesthetics line. A lot of you guys have been asking me if this is a line I'm working on with Alpha. No, me and Chi Chi are working on this line independently, and it's coming soon, so stay tuned. It's going to be good. Also, working on a new series for my channel, which will be starting once I move back to Hawaii and just totally revamping my channel which I'm spending a lot of time and doing a lot of work on so stay tuned for that as well so let's get into the topic of today's video now first off I want to shout out Eric Helms and his mass review this is one of the articles that he wrote for his mass subscription service so I can link the article down below but if you want to read more in depth about it feel free to sign up so anyways is muscle damage related to hypertrophy basically this study took 10 untrained individuals so 10 young males who hasn't trained legs in the past six months yes they skipped a lot of leg days and what they did was they had them do the leg press and leg extensions twice a week for the course of 10 weeks so before their first workout what they did was they took 100 milligrams of thigh muscle out just to gauge their muscle protein synthesis they took it out before the workout then they did it again 24 hours post workout and then 48 hours per Post workout for weeks of one three and ten and this is to help gauge the muscle protein synthesis and if there are spikes that correlated with the muscle damage or muscle soreness that they felt and here are your key points one initial muscle protein synthesis response to resistance training within 48 hours is not predictive of long-term hypertrophy when muscle damage is high due to unfamiliar movements untrained participants or eccentric training rather than muscle protein synthesis being driven toward hypertrophy the initial elevation is driven by muscle damage repair so basically in the study they saw a huge spike after week one at, or the largest spike in muscle protein synthesis after the first week of training and what they're saying is it wasn't being driven towards hypertrophy but towards the muscle damage repair itself because they also saw the most you know soreness and muscle damage after the first week obviously after you haven't trained for a long time you're gonna be sore after the first workout and after weeks three and ten you're obviously gonna get more acclimated to the workout and the volume Two, conclusions about the muscle growth potential of nutrition or training protocols cannot be made based on muscle protein synthesis data when substantial muscle damage is present. Three, muscle protein synthesis after multiple weeks of training after the repeated bout effect has dampened muscle damage is highly predictive of hypertrophy. Four, muscle damage was not correlated with hypertrophy in this study. Additionally, high levels of muscle damage, such as when training for the first time or after an extended lay layoff or when training a muscle group for the first time, like lots of these people reduces strength by more than 20 percent at least 48 hours thus muscle damage likely should not be purposely sought out in training additionally a gradual increase in volume and intensity is advised to reduce the damage responses in order to manage fatigue and promote faster strength gains so after week one what they saw it was a 22 percent drop in strength 24 to 48 hours post workout obviously when a muscle is sore you're not going to be able to lift as much and in weeks 3 and 10 they saw a 2 to 6 percent drop 24 to 48 hours obviously because they're not as sore so all in all this study shows that muscle damage or muscle soreness does not equal muscle growth and that muscle damage isn't something that should be sought after the only reason they saw a spike after week one in the muscle protein synthesis was because of muscle damage repair after all the calculations were made the muscle protein synthesis was the same after weeks one three and ten and the only things that they saw differently was they saw after week one the largest you know muscle damage obviously they're the most sore after the, the first week and they saw a huge drop in strength because of the muscle damage obviously when a muscle sore it's going to be hard to work let's say even if you're hitting legs and you're trying to do upper body if your legs are super sore where it's hard to stand and walk around then obviously it's going to hurt your bench which you know you do use your legs as the foundation your overhead press and different compound movements that you lift as well so you can take that into factors as well if you're doing a bro split so basically to avoid any detrimental effects you want to gradually just acclimate yourself to a program gauging your volume your intensity and your frequency and slowly working your way up in a program uh, this is a question I get a lot asked a lot in my programs like oh Matt the weights just way too light you know I need to do more sets more volume but the thing is you got to gradually acclimate yourself the last thing you want to do is you know hit someone with a program that's too much volume too quickly and then they see these kind of negative effects that they're showing in this study so 
yeah, just understand how, how much volume you normally train. If you are jumping to a new pro program that's a lot higher in volume, just gradually work your way up. Instead of doing maybe all the sets, maybe take off a set off each exercise until you acclimate your way into the program and you'll see better effects doing it that way. So anyways, leave a like if you guys enjoyed this video. I can break down more articles for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed. See you guys in the next video. My love, strength and honor. Aloha. Vegeta, what does the scouter say about his power level? It's over 9,000!